Hello friends, welcome to the lecture uh, e-commerce or retail data simulator using Apache NiFi. So uh, last video we discussed about uh, uh, the project, project architecture. We are building a real-time data pipeline which is going to be used for building a, a data processing pipeline application, right? So what we are uh, uh, discussed is basically uh, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, this area where actually uh, we want to simulate the uh, retail data or e-commerce data. Okay, say example you can say consider a scenario where uh, there is a retail, uh, there is a company which uh, having a, a 10 retail stores, okay, for example. So each uh, uh, 10 uh, uh, different retail store in different location. Say they are making a, some uh, point of sale, any transaction they make. The transaction data comes to the the uh, the centralized environment okay so how do you uh, process those data in real time okay so how do you consume the data and uh, process in real time and uh, you can consider there is a e-commerce site which wherever the people come onto the website uh, e-commerce website and they make a, a transaction they buy some product in the uh, the e-commerce site say example you can consider as a flipkart or amazon when you make a online transaction how do you get the tra uh, online data which is a uh, online transaction data and do a processing. Okay, so we are going to uh, 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 just simulate this so because we don't have uh, any uh, system uh, uh, in our project development at, at the part percent. Okay, so I do so I, I decided to uh, simulate this data using uh, Apache NiFi and there is a REST API which provides uh, a random user data. With that user data, I'm going to ingest the some transaction details and with that uh, all transaction information uh, or the purchase information or sales information we are going to do the processing in this uh, spark layer and we are going to build the visualization using uh, uh, python uh, uh, dash and zeppelin and other stuff so in this we will focus on this area so what is the uh, rest api i am going to use is uh, there is a uh, rest api called uh, uh, a random uh, random user dot me slash api so version is 0 0.8 okay there is a rest api it's an open source rest api when you access this uh, rest api okay it is going to send you uh, a random user information okay so uh, so if you see this uh, you will have a user and it contains uh, your uh, gender and the user's uh, name information and the location of the user it belongs to and his email id and use ready password like you can think as uh, any e-commerce site when you go and uh, register and do sign up so your information is captured in that uh, e-commerce site right so you can think of that way so the all the customer information or the user information is available so whenever you hit this uh, website you get a, a new user okay so you get a random user every time you hit you get random user say this is uh, from uh, england gb Okay, so if you get uh, BR, so uh, every 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 hit you make through this uh, REST API, you get a new uh, the random new user information. So with this in, uh, user information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ingest the transaction details. So you can think as uh, whenever the uh, purchase on, happens in the uh, uh, purchase happens on the e-commerce site, the transaction detail will come to the messaging layer, right? That is I'm going to simulate it. So using a uh, Apache NiFi. So I am going to hit this REST API using a uh, Apache NiFi processor. Uh, so hit this URL and get this uh, every time you get the user information and ingest the transaction details and send it to the message layer which is a uh, Apache Kafka. That's what we are going to do. So let's start with that. So first I am going to use the processor called uh, Invoke API. Okay. Invoke, uh, invoke HTTP. Okay, so in Invoke HTTP API, what we are going to do is we are going to configure our uh, uh, the REST URL, the remote URL, which is uh, this URL. Just paste it here in the remote URL and say OK. Okay, and then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, say apply. Okay, so and then in the settings you can just go and fill all this information
okay so again what i am going to do is once you consume the message so we want to even uh, uh, you are going to hit this okay so because you are going to hit this uh, every every uh, uh, every uh, immediate every it's, it's we are going to do with uh, 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 in like kind of uh, uh, streaming manner we are going to hit this url and get the result okay you can actually you uh schedule it like how much uh, uh, duration you want to run also you can do but we want to get it like uh, real time so that's what i am not giving any uh, 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 sh uh the interval okay so <laughs> it is going to hit it and get it so you just provide this uh, uh, url here in the remote url okay so and then i just apply it here i'll just come to uh, take another processor okay so i'm going to ingest the message right the transaction information i am going to use the jolt uh, uh, transformation which i talked about in the nifi uh, introduction section if you are not uh, watched you can just go and watch i given the detailed information about this so what it is going to do is you take this uh, uh, you hit this uh, http uh, url which is a rest api you get this json uh, uh, message and in the json message you inject one more uh, field okay which is a transaction detail we are going to ingest that uh, detail here okay so i have it here so this is the information so basically uh, with the current uh, uh, message uh, we are going to ingest this uh, transaction detail and uh, with that card type and transaction amount and product id which is got purchased okay so this is i'm going to ingest okay because which this has only user information so we, you take this uh, uh, specification so when the jolt when you use jolt transformation you need to specify the uh, you need to specify the uh, uh, specification okay so like how you want to modify the uh, message okay i provide this okay and then uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to say as a success okay so i'll just connect with this uh, one okay apply all this add it okay once this is added now so you got a uh, uh, the json in this hitting the uh, url you get the user information okay and you are going to uh, with this information you are going to append this uh, uh, transaction details to that uh, user information uh, json so that you get the entire message is kind of transaction message or the online purchase message right so this one we are going to publish to the kafka okay so for so publishing to kafka you just take the uh kafka message here okay so what i'm going to do is uh, uh, i am going to uh, get the publish there is a one more processor called uh, publish uh, publish uh, uh, kafka is there take this processor okay so we need to actually need a uh, kafka broker so kafka broker is uh, uh, it is in this same uh, uh, this url we have single node uh, uh adup spark cluster we installed kafka also in that same uh, uh, um, uh, server okay you share you in the property go to this uh, uh, kafka brokers here if you have multiple brokers you can give it in uh, uh, multiple brokers here okay so i have only one broker i just provide here and what is the broker type uh, the name okay so i am going to create uh, uh new uh, uh broker which is uh, uh which is a trans message which is transaction message i just want to make this transaction message so i create this uh, kafka topic okay it says uh, the created the topic trans trans message you take this topic and provide it here okay okay for this message we are going to publish for this topic kafka topic we are going to publish this uh, message which is uh, uh, user information with uh, addition of transaction information entire transaction details we are going to publish it here okay so now this is ready so basically uh, uh, so we got uh, uh, yeah this one okay so we got uh, uh, the uh, uh, three processor this processor basically invoke http process going to i just reiterate i uh, reiterate this uh, data flow 
uh, which is a NiFi data flow or uh, data pipeline which is going first processor going to hit this URL like uh, this and get the uh, user information and the second processor which is uh, Jolt transformation JSON which is going to uh, with the user information it is going to append the uh, uh, the transaction details like uh, tagout type, transaction amount and process ID and then finally it is going to publish to the Kafka topic. So this is going to uh, uh, happen in our uh, single load spark cluster. So what we will do is we will uh, uh, run this before that let me uh, run this uh, uh, command line uh, produce, uh, command line consumer so that we will run the data pipeline in the NIFI data pipeline and we will check that uh, how it is working. This is for create right consumer okay so here i'll just put here i'll run this okay so i started a consumer with this topic and now i'm going to start uh, start run this okay this start it start this and jolt transformation and publish kafka so it it, it should uh, start uh, uh, hitting the url and get the message and it's going to publish to the kafka topic see you see it started coming here okay i'll stop it i'll show you the format meanwhile i'll stop this also currently we don't have uh, processing uh, uh, spark streaming job we are ready to prepare, uh, develop it so uh, so we just uh, simulate we just created the simulate data like uh, e-commerce data so basically so each message will contain this information okay so i will take this So I'll show it in the uh, uh, the formatted JSON JSON formatter. Okay, so if you see here, this is the user information and this is the location information of the particular user who made the transaction, and this all is uh, mo mobile number, phone number, other uh, details. And you see, we added this in the Jolt transformation, like transaction detail. Card, uh, card type as visa I just hard coded and the product ID is this one and the transaction amount. We will try to uh, 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 modify this data while when, when you consumed in the spark streaming because the jolt transformation uh, we cannot do much uh, like uh, we cannot do much uh, randomized uh, 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 changes so so that's the reason uh, uh, I just what I did is I just hard coded this uh, three fields so this data will actually randomly create in the uh, spa, uh, once we receive it in the spark, stru uh, spark structure streaming. Okay, so basically what we did is this portion of work we have completed. So basically uh, REST API, we, we hit the REST API, we developed a, a NIFI pipeline and uh, hit the REST API and uh, add the transaction data and publish to the Kafka uh, topic. So Kafka broker is having the data now. So now we next we need to gen uh, develop a, a data pipeline okay uh, the real time data pipeline using a, a spark structure streaming and the get the data from the uh, uh, kafka topic okay so that we are going to discuss in the uh, next video uh, with this video i'll just uh, stop it here uh, uh, you just uh, follow this step and uh, uh, develop uh, i think you would have followed the environments uh, uh, setup uh, section and you you would have developed the um, single load CDH cluster with all the knife installation and everything. You can follow this video and prepare the data pipeline. Uh, next video, I will come up with uh, the Kafka integration with the Spark success streaming and we will uh, proceed further. Thank you so much friends. See you in the next video.